Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts of Arm 4 as we are playing with the Kingdom of Romania. Alright, so I should mention before we start this episode here uh, that one, I did uh, kind of rearrange the Air Force and I'll show that here in a minute. And uh, the second thing is that I have an absolutely killer headache, guys. Um, I've got a hell of a hangover. Maybe had a little bit too much of a good time yesterday for the Super Bowl and having that, that day off, which was really nice. Uh, but yeah, I feel like shit. Um, it just, God, when you when you hit 30, I'm gonna tell you what, guys. For these, those of you who haven't hit 30 yet, uh, it's your ability to like, you know, process the hangover effects of alcohol like rapidly decrease uh, once you hit 30. I heard it gets even worse once you hit 40. So I've got that to look forward to. But man, I used to be able to drink, and then you know, when I was in the army, I would, I would drink, and then the next day I would go run six miles. I mean, I might throw up once, but I mean, I could do it. That's the point. I could run six miles. Now I can barely get out of bed after I have a you know a heavy night of drinking. Just feel like I uh, ran a marathon the day before. Man, I just feel like trash. Uh, just whole body hurts and just headache and just uh, stomach. Just you know, not feeling great. So yeah, not feeling great today, guys. So we're gonna do a shorter episode. Uh, but I did want to have one since we didn't have one on Monday. Uh, so before I show you guys the Air Force and things I did here, we're gonna go ahead and, and make a couple adjustments here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of uh, this line here and go ahead and just give them a front line at this point. Uh, there's no reason to, to use this. Before we were doing it, because I was afraid that the you know that the allies would, would you know attack across here and cause issues and I don't want them leaving so this is fine like this and uh, I think all of them should be assigned with the exception of the ones that are over here if I'm not mistaken uh, but yeah let's want to make sure that all these ones are assigned here and then go ahead and give them a planning bonus as well and we're gonna do the same thing with the purple army here which is right here and I think he does have an upgrade too so let's go to get that we're gonna look across all our generals see who have uh, upgrades to get we'll get him the infantry expert here and then uh, same deal here, although looks like we're bringing a division from somewhere. Where the hell is this guy come from? Oh, okay, he's coming from way across there. Got it. Uh, well, hopefully he's taking the railroad. Yeah, it's a tank, and he is taking the railroad. We're going to do the same thing with him, uh, with this uh, leader and his army here. We're just going to go ahead and draw the line across, and uh, hopefully that's good. can't really tell. should be covering. Oops. I cannot, like, click on that bubble. And like it's non-existent <laughs> all right excellent so let's go and give them a planning oh, bonus it's a little order here and we'll make in further adjustments to this a bit later uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at all of our generals see who all has upgrades that guy didn't no, he wasn't even blinking that he did uh, this guy has an upgrade but he doesn't have anything that he can actually spend it on uh, let's take a look at damn it try to look at this general here same thing here. He doesn't have any traits that he can actually get, unfortunately. Uh, here we got the adaptable, uh, which is fantastic because of the train penalty reduction. So that is great. I love that. I think we will go ahead and get that because he has the, the hill fighter and the mountaineer, so he's able to get that. And then there's also this one over here. Well, let's go ahead and start with the adaptable. Remember, the Red Army is the one that's invading into Italy, so we do want to spend as much points as we have to here on the command power. Uh, on these ones. Uh, so let's go and go with the, I'm going to do the combined arms expert. I just prefer that one because you always have, you know, more mechanized and motorized in your battalions than you do uh, tanks. Uh, so, and, and defense as well. And that's another thing is infantry just has better defense total. And since it's a percent modifier, it's just, just better. Uh, the combined arms expert, I find. Attention. We'll see if uh, he's got anything. He's got the ranger. That's pretty good uh, for the forest terrain. But yeah, nothing that he can currently get right now. Uh, let's see if there's anybody else that has any upgrades, because we do have the ability to get one more upgrade. Let's see if anybody else has it. Yeah, none of these are lighting up, but I just wanted to confirm. Uh, we got an infantry expert here. All right, there we go. Spent all our points. Uh, we'll go across the rest of our leaders and see if there's anybody else that has upgrades real quick. No, we're good to go. All right. Uh, so last episode, we started the invasion of, of Italy. Well, we started the episode before that, but, you know, we've actually started having some, some success this time. Uh, we should always also go ahead and build units. Completely forgot about that. Uh, let's go and get some units building. And we are going to do... see how we want to do this. Uh, we don't want to get more modern tanks right now. Uh, oh, damn, I did have a, a name here. Uh, damn, I didn't write it down, though. Shit. Uh, somebody had a name suggestion. I'm going to uh, do that. I'll do that before the next episode. I completely forgot to do it. Uh, we're not going to build any more modern tanks uh, because we actually have a very large shortage of modern tanks right now. Uh, I messed with the production a bit as well, kind of reprioritized some of this uh, before we started today. But yeah, not gonna get any more modern tanks, I don't think that'd be wise uh, until we uh, fix the, the problems there. 
Uh, let's go and get the... Could get some Carpathian Wolves. I thought we had built some of these, uh, but I don't know how many we got. Let me just double check and see if I did train up some of these. Okay, we did. All right, instead, let's get some Legion's Eagles, because uh, these might, in fact, be quite useful in the invasion of Japan uh, if we can't get control of the seas long enough to, to do an invasion. All right, so we're going to do quite a few of these, in fact. Yeah, let's just do a bunch. Um, let's do 15 and set them up to, to join our army. We actually have manpower for once, uh, so that's really nice. Uh, so we're going to get those. Um, we will need to occupy some territories to have some more horse guys. Huckle horsemen would be nice. Uh, I don't know if we actually built any of these yet. Actually, we might have done that, and I just forgot. No, we didn't. Okay, so we do want to get uh, a few of these guys, because, uh, you know, this is 33 divisions. Won't be enough to occupy uh, all of Germany, I don't think. So let's do uh, 10 divisions. All right, so that looks good. We're at 312,000 manpower still. Uh, let's go and get... I'm going to get some more Velods and Pillars. People ask why I use light, light tanks this late in the game. I love their speed, guys. I absolutely love the speed. Uh, I think it's fantastic. So useful. Uh, they're just faster than any other tank division, so... There we go. Uh, so we, we are going to get uh, just five of them. Five more divisions there. And uh, we can get some more Iron Guard. Uh, we currently have five building. We can go get uh, five more uh, going, and I think that's going to be it. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, so, well, these guys cost a lot more manpower than I thought. So we're just going to get those five. All right, so that uses up our manpower. Let's go ahead and take a look at the air situation I changed up, guys. Uh, just so you can see, I, I got rid of a lot of fighters, uh, a lot of fighter wings, because they were really low. Uh, they haven't, I don't think they've been uh, put out there just yet. Let's take a look. Yeah, we have uh, yeah, a bunch of fighters here. You can see that I, I got rid of a bunch of fighter wings. And that's why we started with a little bit more manpower. Uh, because, yeah, all of our fighter wings just take such heavy losses. I want to reprioritize them as well to over here. Uh, so we've got more fighters going over there. So hopefully that should help. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and move out here as well. Still haven't got the wind there. I don't want to attack across this river. I think we're going to avoid it uh, if we can. Uh, we could attack... No, no, I would rather just cut them off. Uh, we got the advanced oil processing. All right, fantastic. Uh, we could go and get the last one. We don't really need uh, these, though, anymore. And we're already getting this one here. We don't really need to get these techs at this point. We are in a very good spot. Uh, so let's instead, let me just see if there's anything else we need to get here. Uh, we do need to start going down the tactical bomber route. I do want to get those. So I think that's what we're going to get. And then we might go ahead and start working on our Navy at that point. Now, again, it's, it's pretty useless at the, you know, at this late in the game. And uh, there's no chance we're ever going to build a navy up to defeat the Japanese. We're going to have to rely on other methods to do so. We could also get marines for these naval invasions. That might be helpful. Um, I, we're already focused on paratroopers, though. It's fine. I'm not going to get them. we got paratroopers. we got mountain troops. I have a limit to how many special forces we can get. Uh, so I think, yeah, let's go ahead and get the tactical bombers. And then after this, maybe we'll kind of start getting some some more uh, techs for our navy. So I'll put these guys over here. All right, swing on back over here, and uh, let's go and continue with our attack into Italy. Yeah, we might have to attack Crossroad. We actually won there. All right, fantastic. Uh, so we just entered into July, and uh, we have taken it here. Let's go and have all these guys move over to here now. Uh, and uh, we're going to also want to take any troops that are not moving over there. There's only one. Uh, just go and attack there. That's going to be completely unsuccessful. All right. So hoping we get attack over here. Uh... But it looks like they, they stopped the attack anyway. They can't can't beat us there. All right, so now that we are here, let's go ahead and launch an attack into... Did we connect right here now? I think we do. So we could attack over that way. Uh, could also attack over here. Uh, I'd like to cut these guys off, so let's go ahead and try and attack here in the plains where our tanks should do fairly well. Uh, so we're just going to take gonna take all those guys. I don't care. And then uh, it's still not enough. Interesting. If we uh, attack here, there must be a ton of troops there. Um, yeah, there's, uh, 54 divisions here. <laughs> wow. All right. There's a lot more divisions than I thought. All right, let's just stop the madness then. 54 divisions. Good God. All right. I thought, well, I guess there's Italians and Germans all throughout here. Yeah. Okay. Here's what it is. We might have to wait till we get more divisions trained up. And what the hell happened over here? Uh, we redid this and it resulted in them kind of changing up their priorities for how they're going to occupy it. Okay. That's fine, I, I guess. Uh, oh, yes, this right here. We're going to do something here, guys. 
So we can't get across here. What I was attempting to do is to burst across here and then we'd attack up over this way and uh, try and cut off some troops in the middle. But yeah, it's not gonna work because we can't get across. So instead, and I think a, a problem here is also these Russian troops, man. Uh, so instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do a naval invasion. And uh, let's just go ahead and do that now. Let's just set up a, uh, just a two division naval division right here and attack there. And then we'll attack up over this way. I don't wanna attack right there because I'm a little bit worried about these troops being cut off. So we're gonna try doing it this way. Um, hmm. For whatever reason, we can't assign them. Oh, there we go. Uh, they should have started out assigned. So, yeah, we'll just send two divisions, and I think that should be enough. In fact, we'd also send these guys. We'll do a third division. Make sure that we succeed. Also, we have more divisions built by the Russians. They really should stop building divisions at this point. Um, they do seem like, uh, they have uh, plenty enough. We need one more under this front to, to cover here, but yeah, I'm, I'm a little worried about their manpower. Uh, never mind, let me take that back. We need three more divisions to completely cover this front. We are gonna eventually pull those Russians in with the Japanese, so. Uh, us pulling back divisions did result in them attacking us here, which is a good thing, because uh, it's better than us having to attack them. And we'll just keep this on, uh, you know, like these lines rather than doing offensive lines. I'm not planning on attacking in here. Somebody said, you know, let's start the attack over this way. I want to focus on Italy if we can win here, guys. I really want to knock them out of the damn conflict. Although it's going to be really hard to do if they have, you know, 50 divisions in every damn province. Uh, it's going to be impossible to do. Let's go and try and attack now. We do have it green uh, temporarily. They still have 30-something divisions here. But can they reinforce? And are the divisions capable? Yeah, they're not even capable of holding us back here. Uh, so let's go and put these guys here so we don't get cut off. Uh, they're just so weak right now. Uh, I think they are all lacking in supply at this point. Uh, let's go and support this. See if that's a win. Maybe not. Yeah, it doesn't look like this one's going to be a win. So let's go and just pull it back. Uh, there is an opening here where we can probably shove our light tanks over there. So let's go and do that real quick. Uh, we're going to go across with the, the fast light tanks. In fact, let's have one light tank over here. I can't see anything, man. All right, send one of these guys. Yeah, this is like really hard to see what's going on here. All right. Yeah, I can't see who's all here and who's not, but that's okay. It does look like we won in both of those provinces, so it does look like they're about to beat us there. So let's go ahead and have these guys attack on over here. And uh, we're going to send... Good God, it's so hard to see what the hell's going on over here. We're going to do an attack, just kind of save that so that we can uh, not lose the province. And yeah, there we go. It looks green. Fantastic. There's so many Axis divisions over here. Let's go ahead and send the light tanks in and support with the medium. All right, ace pilot promoted. Fantastic. Uh, we might want to take a look at the air situation uh, now that planes have kind of moved around. And I did end up overstacking one of these. Okay, so we're going to want to fix that. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll just bring them over to here so that won't be overstacked. But yeah, as you notice, a lot more planes here, guys. A lot more than what we had. Uh, just taking a look at other air situations all around, seeing if there's anything we want to change up, do a little bit different here. Overall, though, fighters are a problem. Do we have any uh, enough jet fighters? Oh, I don't want to look at that. Let's see if... Uh, all right, we, we have 30 factories going towards jet fighters. Let's take a look and see. We got 67. All right, we won't do a new air wing just yet then. All right, so yeah, just trying to push through here. Looks like that will be successful. We did take this as well. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can't cut some guys off here. I don't know. Well, you know, we should probably just send the divisions over this way, actually. I'll try and attack across here. Nope, I don't want to attack there. I'm trying to attack here. All right, so that'll actually be a win. All right, fantastic. Let's try and see if we can't get here quickly. Um, I'll have to see. It looks like they did stop the attack there. Uh, these guys are both going over this way. Let's go and have this guy come over here next. And yeah, that is actually going to be a win. Um, can we get there before we actually force any of them to retreat? Doesn't look like. Let's we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. So these guys are now cut off, completely cut off from supply. Uh, so let's go and work on getting them destroyed now. So we'll have to fight them all the way across Italy. It's a little bit harder here. Uh, we might have to attack across the river, actually. No, that's not great, but yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and have these guys push forward. Okay, so they're gonna go that way. Can we not? Okay, this is one problem here. All right, well, that's fine. We'll go ahead and attack that way then. And uh, let's go ahead and attack here again. We're not winning now. They just have too many divisions here. All right, let's just go ahead and hold then. Same thing with these guys here. Let them do their thing. Just too many divisions along that way. Uh, but not enough over here to stop us. Let's go ahead and have this guy attack over this way. He should be pretty weak. We now cut these guys down so they're just in this one province here. 
just get them wiped out. And yeah, it does look like that should be a success. And uh, doesn't look like they can stop us here, guys. We're gonna attack over, well, we can't to go this way. And uh, see if we can't go here as well. And I gotta finish up this defense, so we should probably send in some troops here, even though we can't win, just trying to help up on the defense. Although I think that's a different province. Uh, we did get the radar, excellent. Let's go ahead and get uh, the next level of radar, and then we'll go ahead and get all the new radar building up here. Uh, and we don't need to repair this. All right, so let's go ahead and do, what are we doing, radar, right? Yeah, so let's go ahead and get the uh, radar, if I can find the damn button. Uh, so we can improve our radar coverage. Get up to like level four, oops. Some of this is probably unnecessary, <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> All right, so cross here and there as well. All right, so it looks solid. We're also building the fort line along here still. All right, let's go and tick these down. We'll let them keep building it, it's fine. All right, let me just take a look at our current coverage. We're actually yellow here, but we don't have any planes here, so that's a problem now. Uh, we're gonna need to send some support over there. Uh, so how are we gonna do this? We might need to pull fighters again from other areas where we're just not like fighting as much. Uh, so for instance, um, like maybe put these uh, fighters here. Let's see where we could, uh, I'll just probably send them straight across actually. And have them help us cover uh, there. And we could probably bring some more close air support there as well. Uh, just trying to see where these guys are at. Let's go and bring a close air support. We'll bring a couple close air support in fact. Bring them on over to here. So we'll have a little bit of support. Let's see if we can pull any fighters from anywhere else. We could probably pull from here. This is, uh, there's a lot of fighters here, probably more than, than is necessary. Uh, let's go and pull from here if we have any. In fact, we are still have a significant fighter shortage. So that's a problem, man. Uh, but I don't want to get rid of any of these really experienced ones. I don't think that would be uh, good. All right, so let's go and bring these guys over here. Try and get a few more fighters over there. Uh, and I need to get, like I said, I need to get rid of a fighter wing. Uh, somewhere because uh, I obviously I did not get rid of enough uh, Well, we're still we still have a lot over here. Let's go ahead and get rid of these guys. I Know they were kind of a uh, experienced or whatever, but yeah, it's fine We're just trying to uh, replace all the losses. We've taken take significant losses I almost want to go ahead and because we we're building jet fighters, but it's kind of slow going I think we're gonna go put another five factories into fighter threes uh, All right, and everything's good on trade. Well, we'll take a look and see what happened here though. Uh, the British lost a light cruiser and a destroyer. All right, what about here? Uh, we should probably take a look at our subs and see if there's anything we need to, to do here. Like we have new submarines that can, we just put both of these guys over there. All right, excellent. All right, so yeah, just advancing into Italy and they really can't stop us here. We did finish that up. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, 12 divisions still signed here, so that looks good. Uh, are any of these guys done? There are some done. Awesome. Uh, so what we're going to do th with these divisions here is go ahead and move them over to... Let me see. Does the Red Army have any small divisions? They do not. Same thing with the Blue Army. I don't think they have any small divisions either, just the mountain ones. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take these ones here and then move them over to... I almost want to move them over to the Red Army so that they'll help us out here. I don't want to give up the entrenchment, so I'll just move them over to here. And then that'll allow us to stretch the front over this way. So we're going to go ahead and do that now, in fact. It's five new divisions. That'll allow us to pull the Red Army back. And uh, eventually, uh, the Red Army will cover all this top front so the entire Blue Army can come down here and uh, help us out. All right, so just attacking there again to try and help out. Although it does look like we are going to win there, so that's nice. Uh, yeah, they're actually attacking all across this front, which is just going to cost them, you know, more casualties they really shouldn't be taking, but they're dummies, so they'll do it anyway. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, just advancing down this way. We need more tanks. Uh, these fast tanks, while not great for mountain fighting here in Italy, and, and you know, they get those massive train penalties that we already discussed uh, previously. Uh, there are reasons why I'm using these tanks, um, mainly because one, that's what we have available. Uh, but the other issue here can we attack here we can all right the other uh, nice thing about using these tanks is how fast they all are uh, allowing us to, to advance pretty rapidly here have those guys support let's go and see if we can't I think these guys are about to attack us so we're gonna be defending but that's okay just need to get these tanks hurried up down here so I'm attack over this way. It looks like that guy did win there. Let's go and attack over that way now. Uh, I think they're just completely exhausted when it comes to equipment and, and maybe not so much manpower for the Italians, but like here I'm attacking just because 
And it does look like we are actually winning there as well. Wasn't even intended, but I was thinking we'd cut these guys off here. Alright, let's see if they've gotten troops over here. They did, so what we can do is now go ahead and pull back uh, the Red Army. And let's also... So I don't have to pause as much. We'll go down a, a notch here. Alright, let's go ahead and go after Encona. Uh, we're going to attack those guys as well. We're going to eventually get them all cut off, but... Let's focus on getting these guys cut off from their capital. Now they will still have, uh, you know, ports, so they can still get uh, supply. That's not going to stop them from getting supply, but let's not have these guys support this attack. All right, so now we're going to attack over this way and uh, see if we can't go ahead and cut all these guys off here. It does look like we're about to get Livorno, although we already cut them off here. That's great news. Uh, one here as well, although it does look like we're. Uh, has some difficulties there. Luckily, more divisions are coming to support us. And yeah, these tanks are moving very, very rapidly through here, which is fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and attack over this way. We might need to take a look at our fronts and see how many we have assigned to each now. Yeah, these might be getting a little bit messed up now. Yeah, they're they're not uh, not looking the way I want them to look just yet. All right, let me see if I can't uh, let's have all the troops that are here assigned to this one. Uh, he's already assigned, I think. Let's go and make sure these guys go onto this front. I'll stay up on here. Nine divisions. All right, how many do we have of the blue army assigned here? Let's have the entire blue army focus. Uh, right? No, no, no. Wait a minute. My bad. Let's have the entire blue army that's here focus on this here. Let's go and delete this line. We will need to send more red divisions over here take like one of these. I think he's already going over there. But yeah, that's 10 divisions. That looks nice. Uh, eventually we'll pull more uh, as we you know, get this ramped up over here. Uh, let's go ahead and delete some of these fronts. Just kind of redo this, I think. And the plan is to get all the Italian territory and just go up to here along the river and then stop there and put a defensive line. Uh, that's the plan as we finish up in Italy. And then from here, we would, we're not going to invade into France. I mean, I guess we could invade real quick just to knock out uh, Vichy France, I suppose. But the point is to get the, the Germans knocked out. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know if we're going to do it that way. Just going to make sure these guys have a plan of bonus. There is a naval invasion here by the British. Uh, so, let's see if that helps. Looks like naval invasion is here as long uh, as well, I mean. Uh, and, yeah, so far things are looking pretty damn good, guys. All right, let me just go through here and make sure we don't have any troops that need to get placed. Uh, which we do. So I'll get those guys moving over there. All right. Excellent. Uh, so they're attacking over that way now. Looks like they should succeed. I think they're completely out of uh, uh, manpower at this point. Or, excuse me, equipment. All right, let's go and attack this way. No, it doesn't look like it'll be a success, but that's okay. All right, just trying to push them back to a smaller front. And I would like to cut these guys off here if we can. Let's go and attack them over this way. And even though the uh, they're vastly outnumbered, we are still winning. You know, here's 19 divisions to be being defeated by three. Uh, just shows you how weak they are. Look at these divisions, man. Just terribly weak, both German and Italian. Let's take a look at our front, make sure they're not being attacked anywhere, losing territory that I'm not aware of because I'm kind of distracted. It looks like we're pretty good. I think they're just about done with the offensives. I don't think they can do anything. Uh, let's take a look and see if these guys are ready to go. Um, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Ah, these guys need to be in their own army, guys. Just temporarily, uh, because I don't want them to... Yeah, oh, that's unfortunate. So they'll need to replant it. That's my bad, guys. I didn't think about the fact that that would launch all the green army divisions on their orders. Uh, we'd have to get rid of those. Uh, so it's fine. We'll just do it this way. And uh, let me just take a look and see if they could launch. We don't have the naval supremacy here yet, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. And the way we're going to do that is just assigning them to the Black Sea. All right, and this is probably too much area for them to to really uh, to be at, so let's just go and pull back on some of these. Um, we don't need to cover that anymore because they lost Ireland, uh, so there's no reason to be there any longer. So we'll pull back from there. We'll keep going here, though. Uh, I know that we really can't cover all this with the amount of submarines we have. Uh, we are building more subs, though. If you guys remember, we stepped up sub production last episode. Uh, look at all these Japanese ships that are being sunk. That's nice. Uh, we'll try and take a look at the naval situation. More uh, invasions over here too. All right, guys, they're uh, they're getting incredibly weak. Uh, I think this is uh, the beginning of the end for the Axis. 
Let's go and attack over here. And uh, just continue. Huh? We're gonna have this guy, oh damn. I didn't realize that he was in the, hmm. What we might wanna do is have this guy join the blue army then so that he can join this army here. All right, so let's have him go over here. All right, so we're not winning there, but that's okay. Send another division to kind of help out. And then let's go and have all these guys attack across here so that we continue to advance. Uh, defending here, I wasn't gonna attack right there. We gotta wait till we finish up that defense. And this guy is gonna come over to this front. And then we're gonna try and attack across here. Oh, uh, well, that's a river, never mind. We'll go, for, uh, go after Rome instead. Uh, this is a problem, though, because they're moving that division. See if we can't beat them. Uh, we'll get there in one day in zero hours. They'll get there in four hours. They must be taking a railroad, so they're going to be pretty weak when they get there. So we don't really need to worry about it. Alright, so these guys are going to attack over to here. And support. Alright, so it looks like we did win there. Uh, we need to wait for this defense to finish up. I want to attack over here, but we got to, like, not be getting attacked. <laughs> there we go. All right, so attack over that way again does look like it's gonna be a failure. This, you know what, this one is probably a little bit rougher. Instead, let's attack over here then. It's a little bit easier and try and get across this way. All right, let's go and attack here, and uh, we'll support with this division. Uh, and we should hopefully be able to get into Rome here momentarily. Let's go and attack across here now. Still waiting for a lot of the uh, Red Army to get down here. This is gonna take a while, so let's go and have some of them take the railroads, man. Otherwise, they're gonna take their sweet ass time getting down here. All right, so looking green all the way across here. Looks great. Uh, and can we pull anybody back? Uh, yeah, but we can. Yeah, we are looking stacked, so let's go ahead and have the Purple Army cover two more provinces. Let me see, actually three more. And then we're gonna pull the Red Army back further, so the Blue Army doesn't need to cover uh, as much territory here. Actually, what we can do is go ahead and pull a couple of them back now. Let's go ahead and take this guy, have him come on over here, and uh, also a tank. All right, so that's good. All right. Uh, we want that guy to retreat there, uh, so we'll leave him here. Uh, and let's go ahead and push up over this way. Multiple troops here. Doesn't look like we're gonna win in Rome. Okay, so this is what we'll do. We'll have this guy come over here instead. Yeah, because we are losing there, unfortunately. All right, then we're going to try and burst across this way. Uh, I guess uh, try and get Anzio and Naples. Uh, the British are attacking over this way as well. You see that they have joined us, uh, so that's nice. And uh, just stay here. We need some divisions here at the very least. All right, so we need to get across there. Uh, let's see if we can't do that with this light tank. I don't think there's anybody there stopping us. Uh, but somebody needs to attack across here. All right, and then we're gonna wanna attack across here as well to lock those units down. All right, looking great. All right, so these guys are pulling back over to here. That's okay, because I wanna push down this way. Uh, let's go and have any divisions that are here. Uh, instead, go here. And then just like one division, wipe that up for us. Actually, not this guy, he's rushing to use our division. All right, so let's go and attack over this way just for the purpose of locking them down. I'm gonna use two divisions. And uh, let's make sure both these guys are attacking over this way so we get that win. Uh, looks like we won here as well. Probably gets the divisions that took the railroad, so we're pretty damn weak. We weren't able to resist us. Uh, and we did sink six convoys there, Italian convoys. That means it was probably two troop divisions that left. Yeah, we are sinking troop divisions throughout here. All right, so even more casualties to them as they send their troops into the seas, uh, which is pretty foolish on their part. Uh, let's take a look and see if these guys are ready. Uh, it's gonna be 21 days. We still haven't gotten those naval invasion techs. Okay, that's a problem. We're gonna have to get those. Uh, we'll get that with the next tech, in fact. Uh, so yeah, that'll help. Uh, having some trouble here now. Uh, we only have the two divisions and they are kind of retreating here, but there we go, awesome. Uh, so now what we wanna go ahead and do is we wanna go ahead and send all the troops here and attack right there. And uh, these guys can go ahead and stop that attack. Clearly they're not doing well there. All right, and I don't know what happened here. I don't know if these guys got cut off or, or what the deal is. All right, so what we wanna do is let's go ahead and have troops attacking everywhere. It's gonna advance over this way. And uh, in fact, one of these guys should probably attack there. So kind of lock those guys down while we get some more troops coming over here. Uh, and then we're going to have these two support that attack. All right, looking great, guys. 
So we can now pull the Red Army back some. Uh, we have purple troops up along here. Let's go and pull them back across here. And uh, then we're going to pull the Red Army across here so that the you know, Blue Army can come help us out over this way. In fact, we're going to go ahead and take a couple of these and bring them over there now. This guy here. All right. Just leave one division in each province. All right. So uh, they do have a port here in Anzio. So we need to get the win there. Let's just give up on, on Rome for a second. Uh, let's have uh, this division go straight down. I would rather have them do that. And uh, then we'll attack in Anzio. Let's go and have these guys go across here. And we don't want them to get out of Rome. So we're going to attack across there. All right, let's just go and take a look at the rest of the front, make sure that uh, we're aware of everything. Also, I pulled the planes out of here that we had covering here, so I just want to make sure that still looks good, which it does. Uh, we probably still have more divisions that are even necessary there. Uh, yeah, they still can't break across here. They uh, don't have much of a chance there. Uh, it looks like they pulled one division here. Uh, and that's right, we already looked at that. A lot of our troops need some serious training, man. Uh, we've taken very hefty casualties. And have them help out there. All right, so we got winning across here now. Fantastic. Uh, so yeah, these are all looking green. Let's go ahead and have uh, these troops attack. I know it's across the river. It's okay. Just trying to get this front wrapped up a little bit. Let's go ahead and take a look at the situation here. But yeah, it does look like we're going to have the uh, uh, the Italians knocked out of the, the conflict, uh, which is really really nice. We're actually having a fight here. Okay, we'll send some more divisions over that way then. All right, and they were trying to go that way. We don't want them to go that way. Let's go and go after Anzio now. Let me pull back one of these. All right, let's try and win an Anzio. Those are just retreating. And uh, this guy is leaving, so we're just gonna let him leave. Yeah, we'll just let him leave and then take Naples. All right, let's take a look at the situation up here. We just gotta get these last. Uh, divisions here wrapped up. Looks like most of them have been destroyed already. That's only five left. There was a lot more there originally. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go and attack over here now. We've got Milan in our hands. That's fantastic news. Could have uh, cut those guys off right at this point. I'm just trying to get it done, man. Just trying to get that, that wrapped up. Uh, and let's go and attack Rome now. These guys are completely cut off from supply, so it should be fairly easy to get them destroyed. All right, more troops in Naples. All right, well, that's a bummer. Can we win here? We can. Can we win here? All right, so yeah, we're pretty much going to be able to beat them with every, every attack we do, I think. They are pretty weak right now. All right. Uh, so we can now pull back a lot of these divisions actually get reassigned here So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this whole army here and then put them onto this and then just take like one or you know We'll just take a uh, These guys can have them assigned here with one extra division All right looking great guys. Oh Yeah, that's looking good all right, so that'll give us 18 blue division armies here. Um, we could always use more red down here, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these two and have them come on. Or, yeah, to have them come down here. We have a total of 28 divisions to push this territory back. Uh, so let's attack here first, and then we're going to support with these guys. Uh, and probably just attack with them as well. Let's attack over here. Oops. Oh, damn. Why don't you guys stop? Stop your deck. All right, and you know what? We can't cut them off in general, so might as well just attack then. Uh, though, we would actually lose that attack, so we'll stop it. All right, so let's take a look, see what we want to do here. Let's go ahead and get the win here, and then go across there. Uh, let's get uh, these guys pushing forward here. And all of these divisions here are going to come over to this front now. All right, so the Italians will get knocked out of the war Perhaps in this episode. I don't know. We'll have to see, guys. Because, uh, again, this is going to be a shorter episode. I'll tell you what, man. <laughs> I'm trying not to talk about it too much. Because every time I do, people will start getting all irritated. Like, yeah, we get it. You feel like shit. Uh, but, man, it's like... Ugh. I've taken a lot of Advil today. <laughs> but it feels like it's not doing shit. Just taking a look at our front. Make sure there's nothing that we need to be aware of. Uh, we're pretty much good. All right, so they're going to push up that way. But you know what? Let's have this guy do it. It's not that important. Let's go ahead and have these guys go across. 
Yeah, they just don't have enough divisions in the south to stop us uh, from advancing at this point. Can he win? He cannot. Why don't we send another division over there? Alright, um, let's have these guys attack over here. Open up a new front. Or a new, uh, a little bit more combat with. Alright, so let's go ahead and attack over this way. Now, tanks are actually doing pretty damn decent for fighting in the mountains, mostly. We are not doing too shabby, guys. Kind of impressed with their performance overall. Could have been uh, much, much worse. Attack over that way. Alright, so getting that wrapped up. Um, let's go ahead and have those guys come over here. And uh, these guys are going to go over here. Alright, so still attacking over that way. Alright, we just need to get more divisions down here. They're all kind of taking their sweet little bit of time. Alright, so I think we're about ready to uh, make a few more adjustments to the front. Let me just double check here. I think we do have a couple areas that aren't quite as defended as I'd like. I don't know why they're not defending it more. All right, well, let's go ahead and pull the Red Army. Red Army's just going to cover all this. Oh, well, well, wait a minute. We don't want to do that yet, guys. And, uh, apparently there's some divisions from over here that are assigned over to that front, but I can't find them. Huh. All right, not entirely sure where they're at because we only have six here. Oh. There's two divisions right here. I don't know why. They probably didn't move over here because of supply issues, perhaps? Oh, I think I over-assigned. My bad, guys. Let me fix this. I don't know what we did, but I think these guys are supposed to be in the purple army. I think I messed it up a little bit. Added two divisions over there. All right, my bad. Uh, well, it's fixed now. That also explains why some of this wasn't being protected, as it should have been. Uh, let's go ahead and increase the red army's front. Uh, they're going to cover all this for us now, and uh, that'll allow us to pull the, some of the blue army troops away. Let's do uh, one from each area for right now. All right, so we are losing here, but again, uh, we should fix that soon. So many divisions, you can't even tell what the hell's going on. There's just so many damn divisions. All right, let's go ahead and attack over this way now. We'll support with these light tanks. Again, they're just so weak uh, that I just don't think they'll a little to stop us. Uh, we're currently at 80% towards capitulation. We don't actually want them to capitulate in this episode, and I think about it because then that would result in the episode being longer than I want it to be. Uh, let's go over this way, and let's attack over here as well. Pushing back again. I'm not even worried about uh, cutting troops off right now. I'm just trying to get this territory taken. So let's go ahead and have these guys go this way. And the light tank will come on over here while the medium tank goes over there. Okay. Looking good on that front. We're having some difficulty here, trying to get this win, but it doesn't matter because we're about to get that taken care of. All right, we are losing right there. I was thinking we'd get more divisions assigned over here than we have. Uh, some of these guys need to get their, their butts over there. All right, and once we have the red army troops here, we can then uh, get rid of the blue army's front over there and just have them all come over here. All right, so he's gonna take care of this for us. And they're gonna go straight across and then start conquering Sicily and all of Italy will end up being in our hands, it looks like. I didn't think that was gonna be the case because of the naval invasions, but yeah, it does seem to be how this is gonna go down. Uh, so yeah, we did lose that one. We just ne never got enough troops for me to, to extend this here. All right, and these guys are coming over this way. Let's go and attack over here. I'm trying to just get uh, Genoa finished up. These guys can retreat by sea if they so desired. And um, let's make sure that none of these guys went down over here. I'm going to have them push all the way over. Same with these ones here. Get her done. All right, see how we're doing on the Red Army. We've got 11 individuals. Okay, that's enough. All right, so let's do some attacks. Let's try and get a win here. Cut those guys off, I suppose. I don't know if we can. It does look like we are vastly outnumbered. What if we attacked over this way? We could win there. All right, well, let's just stop this attack then. I can't seem to select these guys. Instead, have them attack over here. All right, so that should be a win. Uh, I really want to attack there again, so let's see if we can't. Well, let's let our organization get up. I'm trying to rush it. Uh, we should take a look at the skies, see how things have changed here. Uh, we do control the skies here. Excellent. We don't want these guys bombing here anymore. Uh, that's silly. Uh, let's instead have them bomb somewhere else. Uh, like, how about Northwest Germany? 
doing the strategic bombing, guys. Okay. See what this is? Some six more convoys. There's another. So all these troops are going to the sea, allowing us to easily destroy them. That's very, very nice. Try to cut all these guys off here, as well as these ones. That's why we're not attacking them. And it's kind of hard to do. It's hard to see what the hell's going on. There's so many divisions there. Uh, we have a decision available. War bonds. So we're going to go ahead and enact that, I think. Yeah, let's go and do it. Although, I suppose we don't really need to do that anymore. The civilian factory situation is fine. All right, so these guys are now going to start pushing across here into uh, Sicily. Another troop convoy there. And we should be able to wrap this up fairly easily. Get those guys destroyed there. Looks like a lot of French divisions that we're destroying. All right, defending throughout this territory, uh, which is absolutely fine with me. If they want to attack us, they'll take heavier losses. Uh, let's see if there's any other uh, generals that have upgrades. Uh, this guy does, uh, but again, nothing to get, unfortunately. Does he not have anything? He doesn't. Okay, uh, and I just go through all the ones that we're actually using here and see if any of them have. No, doesn't look like it. Okay, I guess we should dip over across the front real quick. They're still doing the attacks here. They really want to get into Stalingrad, but they cannot. Still a lot of divisions across here. As you can see, the Germans are uh, still plentiful. Still quite a few of them, guys. Uh, and Red Army isn't here just yet, so we're going to have to wait before we pull them back. All right. Uh, anybody done training? Uh, we do. We have mountain troops that are done training. Okay. Um, how do we want to do this, then? I guess we're going to take them and put them into this blue army here. Because I want the blue army up along. Well, no, no that's fine. We don't actually need them there. Uh, we have full 24 there. We have uh, 23 here. All right, we're going to create a new army. We're going to give one to this purple army here. And then the rest of these are just going to go into a secondary army for right now. Uh, that we're going to move over to here. Over to Venice. All right. Uh, so let me take a look at our stockpiles of jet fighters. We have 136, so not enough for line just yet. Uh, or, for, excuse me, for a new air wing. And... These guys did win there. Uh, let's go and start pushing over here. I know that we're attacking like even four organizations up and everything, but you know what? It's fine, guys. As long as it's green, we're okay with it. Just need to get these guys cut off by taking either here. Or here would probably be the best place, actually, so we're going to want to attack over that way next. And Italy has capitulated. All right. And I said we're going to have a peace treaty when they capitulate. I completely forgot. we got to defeat Germany first, obviously, before we have a peace treaty. So the Italians capitulated. Awesome. Uh, we took enough of their stuff. Uh, we still have to get uh, Palermo and that one province there in Sicily. And then, of course, we still have to advance over this way. Unfortunately, the British did get all this territory. That's a bit frustrating. Uh, they shouldn't have gotten that. Uh, let's go and wipe out the rest of these here. And uh, we'll do that next episode. And do we have Renary troops here? Almost. We got one more that we're waiting on. But what we can do is go and just take the ones that are here. Actually, it looks like a lot of divisions are coming over here. Let's just have this one guy here for now. All right, so that looks good. And they're going to come over here to help us wipe the rest of these uh, German and Spanish divisions out. Uh, the Italians have capitulated, so we don't have to worry about them any longer. And then, of course, we have uh, this one to the British, too. That's irritating. Yeah, they, they ended up getting everything. Um, they shouldn't have gotten any of this. They didn't do a damn thing. I almost want to, like, back up and then let them... Uh, yeah, I think we're going to let them take this territory uh, and just have our guys protect our one little province here. And, uh, man, I mean, I just want them to conquer it so that I can, I can kill them. <laughs> I don't think they'll... Uh, yeah, they won't give us anything because we're not in the Allies. All right, so that's uh, a great place to end the episode. And I'm going to go probably take more Advil. <laughs> I'm dying over here. Uh, so I think things are, are looking pretty good now, guys. I don't I don't expect the Germans are going to be able to resist uh, our offensive because that's what we're going to do next. Uh, rather than advance over this way, there's no point, guys. There's absolutely no point in attacking into this territory. Yeah, why? Like, look at all these divisions they have. Uh, and what do we gain? We gain, yeah, sure, we gain the resources and the factories and take that from the Germans. Um, but for the most part, unless we, I mean, I guess we could easily win, probably, even with all these divisions. But I prefer to just conquer actual German, you know, core states. This is what we need to do to get them to capitulate. I don't want to fight in this huge, massive territory here uh, for five episodes conquering it all. 
Although I guess one... Yeah, I didn't think about that. I was going to say I don't want to conquer all this territory because yeah, it doesn't help towards capitulation. All we need to do is conquer Germany and that's all we have to do to get them to capitulate. But what I didn't think about is the fact that if they capitulate, all their territory is going to go to Britain. So if we take it, take it ourselves, then we make sure that we get control of it. I didn't really consider that. It's unfortunate it might force us into to fighting there. I don't know. I'm going to think about it, guys. I'd love to hear your guys' opinion as well. Uh, we do have uh, this guy to get thrown into here. But we're going to go ahead and end it here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. And just before we go, I did realize there's this naval invasion here being planned for attacking into Greece. All right. Well, we have all the ports protected, so they can attack if they want. Uh, but, yeah, they, somebody's doing a naval invasion here, and we just take a look. Okay, so we see exactly where they're going to attack as well. They're going to attack right here, somewhere here. All right, well, we're okay with that. Let them do it. They're not going to like what happens to them. Uh, so do hope to see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching, guys.